Congratulations, you've made it through another week. Friday is here. Hallelujah, right? Hallelujah. Hey guys, thanks for being with us. As is our new tradition, Friday night's going to be our prayer night. So if you guys will join me in prayer. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, in mercy look upon your people. With grace flood our hearts. With hope, forgiveness, and eternal life lift our spirits and souls. We come before you tonight, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, asking you to hear our prayer and to answer it for his sake. And you definitely are more willing to hear our prayer and answer it than we are even to ask. Make us bold to ask what we want. Give us faith and dispel doubt to ask for what we need in this world. First and foremost, we enter your courts with thanksgiving and praise. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for filling us with grace and having mercy on us. Thank you for the gift of Jesus. Thank you for our cars. Thank you for our homes. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you again. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We are bold and confident to ask, Lord Jesus, that you will lift your hands and your voice and command this virus to cease and desist. We know that you are God and you have the power to do all. And yet we are also bold to ask that you continue to use science and medicine to treat this virus and to heal your people. Continue the development of safe and successful treatments and vaccines and help all people come to peace with these treatments and vaccines so that we may get better. For you are the God of grace, and you are the God of provision, and you are the maker of heaven and earth, and you give us all good and perfect gifts. And we praise you. We pray against Satan trying to dispel doubt, that your people may have victory and all people may be healed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we pray for our new presidential administration and ask that during these times you give them wisdom and guidance and peace and love. Bless them, Lord. We pray for all senators and congressmen. We pray for all of our state senators and state congressmen and leaders, for our governor. We pray for our local mayors and county judges and county commission and, and city commissioners. Bless them all, Lord Jesus. Bless all those who govern with wisdom and love and patience and kindness. Help them to seek you in their governance and help them to reign with, uh, to rule and to govern with justice and peace and love and with humbleness and humility. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the armed forces of our country and for all the brave men and women who serve us to protect our freedoms, to keep us safe out of harm's way. Please be with them and be with their families and send your holy angels to protect them, provide for them, keep them safe, and protect them from this virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for all first responders, paramedics, firefighters, EMTs, police officers, and we certainly thank you for all our medical professionals as all of these people work here at home to keep us safe, healthy, and protected. Be with them and their families. Keep them safe, healthy, and protected. Surround them with your holy angels and watch over them. Keep them free from COVID. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, we pray for every country and every land through this world that peace and love and unity will prevail. We pray for our home country that every citizen, every one of us, will be united together in fellowship and harmony, that the peace of Jesus will rule in our land. Let it start in our hearts, let it start in our homes, let it start in our neighborhoods, and go out from there. And mostly, let it start in our churches, too that your church throughout this land and the world may boldly proclaim the love, forgiveness, peace, and unity of Jesus Christ, that his message may prevail in our hearts, lives, and souls, and so flow out of us into the world around us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, at our church, we thank you for the opportunity uh, that we're working on to partner with our state and local health officials to have vaccines as we await the news of this um, uh, confirmation. Um, please help this to come to fruition, that we might have the opportunity to vaccinate 9,000 people a week, Lord. Thank you. Make this happen. And Lord God, thank you for our new mission church plant and for John, Pastor John and Pastor Wellington and for Kia who are going to be part of our family as we partner together to work for your kingdom and to plant a new congregation within our midst to help your kingdom grow. Unite us together for this cause. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and help us to work together to this common goal that every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord and Savior. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, keep us safe 
and protect us. Remove our fears and our doubts and anxieties. Flood us with the confidence of your Holy Spirit rooted in word and sacrament that you may live in us so we might always live in you. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And amen. From our devotion this week, yes, yes, it shall be so. Thanks for being with us tonight. And I pray that you will have a great weekend. Our normal videos will be coming out this weekend. Stephanie tomorrow, worship on Sunday, and then we'll be back here on Monday. Don't forget, if you need anything, you can reach me. Um, right now I'm not on Facebook or uh, Messenger, so you can reach me by texting me or emailing me or phone calls. I guess those still work too, right? But I'm here for all of you visitors and those watching that aren't members. I really appreciate you being here with us too. I love you guys and I cherish you and I hope you have a great and wonderful night. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Love you guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.